Judy Reed and Augustu Augustus Link will be adding up all the loot. All the loot from this show will be going to the girls. All the loot from this show will be going to the girls. Please, please, one dollar, one dollar, two dollars. Rodney P. Jackson, ninety-nine dollars. Kenneth the Lap, two ninety-nine. Make it rain, people. Make it rain. A saporn, a bisa, saporn, super porn, super porn, super porn, super porn. Uh, we don't even have a stream yet, people. Uh, you're watching Taylor Self versus the World quarterfinal CrossFit quarterfinal workouts. Fisa Goffey, thirty-second fittest woman in the world, against Lindsay Lane, the winner of the Crash Crucible. Let's go, Fee, says the flyer, $9.99. Thank you. Every second counts. I mean, every dollar counts. Uh, none of this would be possible without the great sponsor who makes the best shoes in the CrossFit space, Born Primitive. Every morning, we wake up knowing what's at stake. Freedom. Honor. Duty. This is more than a mission. It's the oath we took. It's the flag we wear on our sleeve and everything it stands for. We don't do it for money, glory, or fame, but for something deeper. It's for our families, for our freedom, for our way of life. And to anyone who tries to take that away from us, good fucking luck. mission is complete. Training is never over. We are constantly honing our craft and sharpening our axe. That is the warrior mindset. This isn't just a brand to us. We're a part of these stories because we've lived these stories. And while we might have hung up the rifle and body armor one last time, our new mission is to outfit our nation's heroes with the best apparel on the planet. By the operator, for the operator. To those still standing on that wall, we salute you, the damn few. Born primitive tactical for those who defend. All the boys you see in these videos are veterans. The owner of Born Primitive, Bear Hanlon, former Navy SEAL, also in the videos. Uh, been super crazy easy to work with. Anything we've asked for, he's given it to us. I uh, crazy appreciate it. Uh, easy sponsor. I wear the shoes. We reached out to him. He said, let's do this. His sidekick, uh, Claire, has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, they gave us a special prize that I still haven't told you guys about uh, for the girls today um, on top of the $1,000 that the Glinton podcast, Garrett Glinton, who, who, I, who, I, who who's very close to I'm uh, anointing is the permanent replacement for me on the podcast on days when I'm at tennis tournaments, jujitsu tournaments, and just laying around in bed eating grapes. Uh, the Ridgeline Realtor, let's go, dollar ninety nine. Kenneth, thank you, nine ninety nine. Augustus Link and Judy Reed will be adding all these up and giving us updates on how much loot we're raising for the girls. Matthew Murphy, dollar ninety nine. Go, ladies, been inspired. Dennis Olari, I love it how all this stuff just comes together at the uh, last minute. On your left is John Young from JY Barbell. Also married to the creator of the crocheted official Colton Piggies. Proceed of those profits will go to money raised to send Colton Mertens to the games. Uh, Miss Pugface, let's go, ladies. Let's go, ladies. Of course, extra sloppy, most hype around quarters uh, ever. Much thanks to the crew and athletes. Yeah, hey, thank you for watching. Um, there was one I think I missed on here already. All right, well, fuck. Um, Kevin Gaines, 999. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. God, these are big donations, guys. Thank you. Thomas Graves for the ladies. You demand, dude. Thank you. Let's fucking go, ladies. Tommy. Tomas. 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 Uh, I think he's Mexican, right? Tomas uh Rodriguez. Don't act like you're listening, John. Uh prize pot. Holy shit from Hong Kong. Misha. Of Does course. Judy know the trans the, the conversion for that? 
Just make it six cents. Uh, <laughs> of course, look at that is a total dog of an Asian person. <laughs> Uh, Basenjis and those, um, uh, um, what the is Shiba that one? Inu. Shiba yeah. Inus, yeah. I think a Shiba Inu is just a Basenji with hair. It's like the husky version of the Basenji. Such an Asian dog. Thank you for fulfilling all the stereotypes. Uh, Latroche, aloha. Let's get him, sisters. Uh, uh, a Hawaiian dude, He pro if he had a dog, it would be a mutt. Hawaiians only have mutts. Oh, there you go, Shiba Inu. The official dog of all Asian people. Uh, Joe, hot ladies doing stuff. Fair enough. Uh, uh, who doesn't love that? Vittorio, 1999, best in the game. Keep it up, Sevy and the crew. Uh, great coverage. Great job, ladies. Aaron, thank you. Rebecca, the best and only quarterfinals coverage in the space. Amazing job, Sev on the team. Come on, girls. The only reason why I'm reading all these is I'm fucking I'm stressing balls because I don't see the live feed yet. And I'm concerned I told you guys the wrong time, that I'm not on the same page with people actually throwing the event. The event is taking place at CrossFit Crash, J.R. Howell's gym, home of the Crash Crucible and the Crash, Crash Crescendo. Crash Crescendo will be next week. It's their team competition. It is the premier non-sanctioned CrossFit event. Uh, Rebecca, go ahead, Spin. You look smart. Swazenabar. Oh, thank you. Uh, the best and only quarterfinals coverage in the space. Amazing job, Sev on a team. Thank you. Come on, girls. Uh, amazing content. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, John Hong. Hong. You don't look Asian. Uh, Arjun Martins. So that's someone he got like a like an Indian mom and a like a, a white dad, right? So he got like the Indian first name and then just like the white last name or vice versa. Oh no, the dad. It's dad's last name. So he got the uh, Indian mom, Pakistani mom. Hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you. Listen and don't any listen. If you're not a regular here, don't subscribe. This station is not for you. We, this station pokes at the fabric of the matrix, and that is not for everyone. Just put your head down and walk around your closed-eyed life. It's much. It's much. It's it's very simple. You do not want to. You do not want to subscribe to the station unless you're ready uh, to be free. Uh, on your left. I don't know what that means, but okay. Thank you. A Captain America reference. Oh, uh, asymmetric gears for. Uh, wow, John. Thank you. Uh, asymmetric gears. Uh, John Young is uh, the Chase Ingram whisper. Only he can speak to Chase. For a coffee for Sousa on his trip home. Thank you. But unfortunately, I'm going to give that money to the girls. Let's go, girls. Juicy booty. Okay. <laughs> Tiffany with an IE. Love the coverage. Let's go, girls. Uh, David Attaway. Phoebe Topper. Hot take. Uh, John Young. Possible? I don't think it's a hot take. Uh, barbell spin. Mr. Spin. Yeah, I think it could happen. No, I think uh, it will happen. I, I'm not that sure about it. But. I'm sure uh, about it. Alex Peters, uh, uh, erasing sexism one dollar at a time. I don't think uh, it, actually, Alex, I'm going to use yours to reduce my carbon footprint. I'm going to pay that to the U.S. government to keep the uh, environment cleaner. ESC sounds 499. Let's go, fee. Holy shit, Brandstetter's in the house. Uh, boys ain't bad, but girls rule. Fair enough, Jody Lynn. Highest quality supporter of the Seven Podcast. I didn't know uh, T Tola Morteno uh, Morteno was going to be there. <laughs> That's his brother. Oh, um, Hubert Flores, Gofi, and Lindsay. Fantastic content, Seven. See, I don't even see color. I, when I saw that guy, I just thought he's a black guy. Have not you done this workout, Spin? I have not. Are you going to? Maybe. See, Fisa Goffey looking like uh, Camille LeBlanc Bazinet 2.0, maybe 3.0. Is that Taylor doing burpees in the background? Looks like it. That's uh, a good case right there. Sharon Petrosky, great content. Get it, ladies. I wonder if she's related to the UFC fighter. Uh, Chad Bear, $20. Holy shit. For the courage, beauty, and brilliance of the ladies. God, I, I would love to know how much money we've made already. Uh, uh, Augustus Link and Judy Reed are doing the tallying. Wad Zombie. Just just brushed with my Matuthian for the first time, teeth feeling clean. How have I not promoted the Matuthian? My own product. Look at Jer Howell shirtless. Good morning. Instant guys. replay, please. Can you hear me? I can. Great to see you all this morning. Dude. Jer was running classes till twenty five minutes ago, so we we did the express setup. <laughs> but I am so happy to be here. I mean, what a day. You guys are awesome. Will Brandstetter on the mic. 
uh, saying some things that make me want to throw up with pure anxiety. Uh, Chad Bear, uh, for the courage, beauty, and brilliance of the ladies, listen, go over to Doc Spartan right now, docspartan.com, and get Matuthian. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. It is my own proprietary blend of grill brusher. Stop using fluoride. Stop using paste. Paste is for weenies. Uh, Carry Speck, 1999. Uh, SPM, 20 pounds. Wow. John Young doesn't read the script. The script reads John Young. Wow. Mary Monsoor, <laughs> the toe spacer queen. Get your rubbers now. Toespacers.com. I love my socks, by the way. They're here somewhere to keep me warm on the cold days. Although, I'm probably not going to wear them for another five months. Uh, Stacy uh, Sabate. Go, ladies. Love the coverage. Uh, keep up the great work. The shiz. Oh, best graphics in the game. Jedediah Snelson, a regular on the CrossFit, on the, on the Sevon podcast for CrossFit Games coverage. Also CrossFit Games champion. For what I saved using code JEDI on my Vindicate order. Oh. VNDK8. Eric Wise, let's go, ladies. Thank you, Eric. This is going to add up quick. This is fun. Uh, Neva Koss from Canada. I'm sorry. Uh Augustus said we're at 437 already, USD. Awesome. How do you know that? He said it in the comments? Yeah. Oh, Good. man, someone's reading. Oh, here we go. Uh, you want to predict times, Brian? Oh, yeah, we're covering sure. the show. I forgot. I thought we were sure. just collecting money. I felt like a bank. Mr. I'm Spin. Gonna... Go ahead. Uh, I'm saying fee is right around 1645. Oh, dude, I was going to. That's what I'm saying. I can't believe you said that. How about that? that? That's the exact time I said it in my head yeah. before he talked. And I'll can go you with... can you break that down? Why? Uh, how you came up with that? Me or spin? Uh, uh, spin. Let's start with spin. We'll move to you, Mister Young. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm just trying to think through the wall balls. You know, probably six minutes or so, and then that gives them a little over ten just under 11 minutes to finish the, the 150 uh, box jumps or burpee box jump overs. Um, and seeing where Hepner was, I, I just kind of get a sense of, you know, the lower wall ball, lighter weight, lower box. They can kind of keep that pace. Please keep but your energy down, fast. Spin. Please keep your energy down. Oh, I'm trying. Save, I'm save, trying. Save some of it. Please. I'm going to wait, wait for John. Um, I just think that they're going to be, they can kind of keep up with Hepner from this standpoint on the women's side john yeah no i would like to change my time to 1640. uh that, the comments are right i don't think i i shouldn't just say the same thing even if no you stole my answer we'll go 1640. <laughs> uh i think he is very good at burpees uh and we do have a good gauge on time because i know a couple very elite women top tier top 10 in the space with a 1622 maybe they're a little bit fitter than fee um but i know if he's very good at very good at burpees and then i think she'll be a little bit better than um hepner's first go around we have a good gauge with hepner too because he loves these type of workouts and i just think she'll be around 1640 with that with that in mind and then lindsey lane i'm gonna say 1730. uh will brandstetter we are one minute from going live. If we could move the tripod, if we could go live on the Sevon Podcast Instagram account to uh, gather the folks and let them know we're about to go live. Fee Sagafi versus Lindsay Lane. Fee, the 32nd fittest woman in the world, going against Lindsay Lane, the winner of the Crash Crucible last year, J.R. Howell's premier event. The workout will be... Three rounds, 50 wall balls, and 50 burpee box jump overs. Uh, Bryson Del Monte adjusting the final camera. That was a nice shot of his nose. Uh, Amy Chapaton, uh, 2799. Thank you. Get it, ladies. Uh, Fisi Gaffi warming up with the uh, wall balls. DocSpartan.com to get your Matuthian. You're crazy if you don't get it. Uh, T-Bird, uh, CA C C Canada, $5. Thank you. Oh, wow. Uh, Sabrina Cruz, make it hurt, girls. Someone yell at him to make it hurt. Will Brandstetter, uh, the... Tech Genius has uh, set this all up. This is a $3 setup for anyone who is uh, wondering how much this setup actually costs. It costs about $3.85. And so we, since we don't pay anyone, 
We make them pay us to be on the Sevon podcast. We're making crazy money. Uh, spin your check bounce. Uh, that, that's on purpose. <clears throat> okay, fine. Um, Kim, Kim uh, Turner, forty nine ninety nine. Holy cow! Aaron Cullen, people are loving the girls. Kim, 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 dog girl. Aaron uh, Cullen, best coverage in the game. SPM, glad to see the spin here too. Me too. Uh, Kim, collapse seven. We're already at five ninety. Good. Let's take it to eight hundred. Is, is this split amongst the two? Let's take it to 800. I was thinking, Fee's already got the 1,000 locked up from the Glinton podcast. The Glinton podcast. Uh, Garrett Glinton's podcast with her wife, Colleen. I say that we get Lindsay Lane. If we get Lindsay Lane to 1,000, then we each give him 1,000. And then we... Uh, and then split it amongst the two? Split, yeah, then we split it amongst us three. Well, I, those it's two. already over 1,000 because uh, she has 500 coming to her, right? Oh, uh, we're that... No, no, no. That 500 now... I am now going to pick a winner from Corey Pueblo. One of you guys in the chat now is going to get a $500 gift card from Born Primitive. Oh, wow. Because we crossed over the 500 mark. I didn't tell you guys that part. I forgot. Uh, Tanya Wells, membership for three months. Let's go, Lindsay. Damn. Oh, member for three months. Uh, Unsporty Beth, this is the most toxic quarterfinals coverage ever. Understood. You remember when I thought that was actually Sporty Beth? <laughs> <laughs> uh augustus link if we convert the non-us dollars to us dollars i have us about 687 61 god that's awesome uh wad zombie 399 super sticker uh what you're about to see this show is supposed to start at 8 30 i'm kind of surprised we're a little behind schedule will is there any reason why we're behind schedule I, i'm not upset or anything i'm just curious uh might be me, but JR hasn't said directly it was my fault, so I'm going to blame someone else. But they are measuring, so they've started the video, so we're about to get underway soon. Okay. Uh, Adam Blakesley, thank you, $1.99. Matt C., uh, $1.99. You guys are awesome. Thomas Graves thinks the whole group is awesome. Uh, Tim Whitman, been here three days straight. Loving the coverage. Thank you. On the right there, you see Al holding the camera to make sure that Fee Sagafi gets what she needs to submit the video to CrossFit. It needs to be a very particular submission that includes particular things like, it looks like they were measuring even the width of the box. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess there's rules around that. Run Paul, 999. Uh, Al is uh, Fee's husband or fiance. Lindsay Lane's on the right in the red sports bra. That is her husband. We were concerned that they might be getting a divorce as he was telling her to get off the box a second early yesterday. Matt Torres. Uh, walking into frame, pacing. Matt is the coach of uh, Dallin Pepper and Fee Sagafi. Last year, he took a, a massive a group of five amazing athletes uh, to the CrossFit Games, including uh, Emma Carey, Danielle Brandon, and... Fee. Fee, and... Dallin. And... and James. Oh, James Sprague. God, how could I forget James Sprague? Uh, Austin Espelin. Uh... Thank you for the for the donation. Oh, one of our judges is also looks like she's ready to work out. A judge in a sports bra. All right, we're about to get in her way. All right, guys. Uh, Will uh, Moorhead, thank you. Woke up early and got this one done before work today. Nasty, I bet. Clydesdale Media, Scott Schweitzer in the house. Oh, wow. wow. Just coming Seven in. seconds. Thank you. Five, three, two, one. Uh, clock is in the lower left-hand corner. It is not the official clock, but it's within one second. They are starting with the 50 wall balls to a nine-foot target using a 14-pound wall ball. Uh, are they required? Wall balls, you're required to get depth on the squad, of course, right? Yes. Looks like, was that 10 for Lindsay? I think 15, but I could be wrong. She's just right over that line. I'd be a little nervous for a re no rep. Uh, Dana M. John, I just bought an iron pig from your wife. She is darling. Thank you, Dana. Yeah, so don't, Lindsay's going in tens. Don't quote Steve. me on this, Brian, but I heard that there's a they reverted the standard on the wall ball to at or above instead of everything that, has to be above. That is true, but if you're that close on the first 10 of 150. Um, you're, you're right. Uh, what do you mean at or above? You mean you mean uh, last year the touch above like where that red line starts. So if she hit the white, it's still good. No, if the she hits the white, it's not good. 
No, but I mean the white above the red. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so Lindsay's just flirting with just the getting it. Her, She's her, flirting with no reps. Yeah, okay. There's a couple that looked really, really close the last 10. And what were you going to say, John? How, how are you noticing they're splitting these up? Fee's going unbroken? No, no. It looks like Lindsay's going in 10s, and I think Fee's going 15, maybe 20, 20, 10. Yeah, I think Fee went 20, 20, 10, and Lindsay's going in 10s. And did you expect that, people to break up the wall balls? Yeah, I do. I, I, I don't know what the guys will break it up in, but the wall balls are just an irrelevant part of this workout. You have to be, like Taylor said, you can't be bad, but it doesn't serve a lot to go unbroken when it's going to wear you out. Like, you might make five to ten seconds up, but that is easily spent on the burpees versus energy expenditure. It's just bang for your buck. Yeah, it's a lot of pressing. You have Dom using the code pressing. SAVAGE20 to get a pair of Savage Ones. And uh, and clearly, Lindsay's at a much slower pace, like intentionally slower. Yeah, the um, problem is when you're worming down like that, I mean, you're, the, the amount of stress on your uh, on your pressing is on your, on your arms gets exponentially more than just flopping down on the ground. Yeah, and, I, and like Chase, I think Chase said this, and it was a great point. I love this analogy that you should go at this workout. For, for most people, these girls might be pushing it a little bit, but at a 5K pace. So like what a 5K feels like for your breathing, that's the pace that you're approaching this workout. And, you know, and they would be pushing a 5K, like they would be pushing that run on a 5K, and I, I think that's a fantastic analogy. Oh. Will any of the burpees be broken up, or is that just for the wall balls? I think they'll probably try to stay at this pace the entire time, and then um, the wall balls. Maybe they go to maybe Fee goes to tens if she's starting to breathe too heavy, right? Instead of twenty twenty ten, but um, I think for the most part they're just going to try to keep this pace the entire time without slowing down or speeding up. Hopefully, you have a kick in the end. If you would like to see Fee Sagafi in the uh, in the live in the person. She will be in Knoxville for the semifinals where the 40 fittest women in the North American continent on the east side of the North American continent will be competing for a trip to Dickies. You can get the tickets now. Uh, I believe the uh, website is uh, Syndicate Crown. Great event, great venue. He's at 34 burpee box jump overs. Lindsay's at 29. Thank you, Will. So Fee's holding around 15 a minute. Okay, and so Lindsay's not doing them that much slower than I thought because also Fee started before, so maybe I misspoke on that. It just looks like it's slower, as Spin was saying, because she's lowering herself and getting that we'll eccentric see. strain on her chest. It's slightly slower. It's not a lot slower, but it's slightly slower. I think Fee's doing... Um, she's gaining a rep every three reps on Lindsay. So, look, they're about together. Lindsay's a little ahead. Robert Wagner, now. welcome from South Africa. Good to have you here, buddy. Us in South Africa don't matter. John Young and can't afford it, but here in spirit and very grateful for all you guys for what you do for the sport. Hey, thanks for being here, dude. Appreciate you. And then right here, now they're even. Fees one rep ahead. See, so about one every three or four. Last one for Fee. What's the uh, how time? High, how high is the box? Off? How high is the box? 42 for Lindsay. 20 inch box. 20 inch box. So a little before five minutes, she's currently on a 15 minute pace. When that, that, I mean, I would be astounded if she kept that, but <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're, they're going, they're going really fast right now. I would imagine her wall ball breaks will probably just get longer and then, um, or more of them. And then she'll try to keep that burpee. Like, this is the longest wall ball break she's taken. That was the longest break she's taken thus far in the workout. Um, and honestly, for her, if she can keep her burpee pace at that same speed, it almost doesn't matter how long she rests at the wall balls. Like, I would rest at the wall balls however long I needed to to ensure These that I could keep that 22 wall balls ahead of Lindsay when Lindsay starts. Wow. About wow. 40 seconds. Uh, what's the cycle difference on wall balls versus burpees? Is, is it can you get two wall balls in for every bu bu burpee box over? Are they twice as fast? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think more, of a wall actually. ball is one every two seconds. Um, 
And then a burpee bo- box jump over is probably around one every four seconds. Arike, $5 million. Thank you. That will push us over. Thank you. Uh, Lone Gray Wolf, I can't even watch ESPN commentary anymore ever since I've started listening to John Young do play-by-plays. Fair enough. Me too. I don't know about that. Thank you. Uh, I spoke <laughs> to the most senior programmer in the CrossFit space. And when I told him that it's fucking completely insane, this was just minutes before the show started, completely insane that someone would get uh, last one thir- for fee, thirteen minutes. Um, this programmer told me that I'm a fucking moron. He's and- he's, he's stupid, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we shall see. But uh, but I'm starting to think maybe I am a moron because if he gets fifteen minutes. It's two minutes faster than that, and she's basically unbroken, Sevon. No, it's it's whoever that most senior re- programmer is, he's retarded. I'm sorry. Let, I don't let, care who your name is. If it's Castro, then Castro is retarded. Because- listen, 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 listen. She she isn't doing them virtually unbroken. She's taking a lot of breaks on the wall ball. But she wasn't on the first round. On the first round, she's about as fast as you can be. She took two breaks, and she was 4.57. I would I would be curious if the total accumulation of her breaks by the end of the workout ends up being a minute. Oh, I, I bet so. I bet yeah. her last round of wall balls will be she'll, she'll break even longer because these burpees are just more important. Uh, Jess T dollar ninety nine free Willis four ninety nine pay, fighting pay uh, inequality one donation at a time. Fees at sixteen burpee box jump overs. By the way, there's no way Castro put put down that people would do it in 13 minutes. It has to be somebody else. Watching from 30,000 feet, A plus in flight entertainment. Hope the Wi-Fi holds up. Thanks, gents. Oh, that's cool. I hope you're not on a Boeing. <laughs> so I feel like Fee's pace has not changed on the burpees, and all that got different was just her rest and the wall ball took longer. It looks like Lindsay's pace has changed. She, I feel like she's slightly slower. What do you feel, Brian? Uh, most definitely, you can see that you know she comes down and it takes her a little bit longer. I mean, I think the middle of the second round on these burpee box jump overs are pretty dark place. Like it's where you want to quit. Uh, Matt Souza, I'm on a Boeing. Thanks, Sevon. Oh fuck, sucks to be you. Not for long, Matt. Not for long, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so she's gaining a rep every three reps now. It was four reps in the first round, and now it's three reps. I wonder if when you get on a 737 Max, if they're like, welcome to the scary show. Welcome to the scary show. One DEI built plane at a time. Hey, uh, tell me the standards here. Um, you obviously don't have to open your hip. What's the standards on going over the box? You you just have to jump on the box, and you have to step down. You can, you can face the box. They're going like a slanted thing you can do lateral you can face it you can do it however you want to do it you just have to jump and then you have to step down you cannot step up onto the box even if you're tired no and it's a two foot takeoff too and, and then your nipples have to touch the ground yes yeah then a standard burpee yeah uh let's go great team and fans in the space it's been fire been amazing ride over the last three years keep crushing ladies no plan b young john young for president a uh, spin is the real brian uh, leaders Barbell Spin, people, barbellspin.com, thebarbellspin.com for all your fastest, most relevant, and complete news source in the CrossFit space. I believe Fee is about to do her 50, 45th rep. So she's fallen off her pace a lot, and that's just on the wall ball breaks because I feel like she's kept this. I don't think she's faded much. She's faded a little bit on the burpees, but not much. Uh, what John Young's referencing is she finished the first round of 50-50 in five minutes, and now she's 34 seconds past the five-minute mark, and she hasn't finished her second round. So 37 seconds yep. longer on the second round is what John is About 40 to. seconds. She was about 40 yep. seconds. Yeah, so that was a 540. Do another 540, that'd be 1620. And, uh, and yeah. Heidi Kroom of 499 Yeehaw. Thank you, Heidi. Uh, John Young and Brian Spin uh, guest their guess for Fisagafi to finish this workout would be 1645. It looks like they are going to be spot on to the very second. Zachary Nipple 
Knipple, a uh, best community entertainment in the CF space right here. Keep it up, everyone. This is what it's all about. All the money is going to the ladies. Uh, next year, do it with four women. Sagafi versus society. Sagafi. Now, looking at Lindsay, dude, I feel like she should have came out even slower than she did. First break was after 14 reps. Uh, Fee's first break was after 14 reps. Yeah, I think she got a no rep or was close to missing, so then she stopped after one more. So I'm not sure if it was planned or not. Uh, break hands on the 26. wall. Yeah, hands hurt. on the wall for that rest. Yeah, she has to get through this. This last 50 is going to be so painful. Fee Goffey in this last round. Last round of wall balls. Last round, yeah. She has opened up her lead on Lindsay by a lot. She was 22 reps on the wall balls ahead last round, and now she's into her mid 30s no, right mean, now. Lindsay's Lindsay's her burpee pace is is just yeah. Uh, Luis Lemos, one of some of the deepest pockets in the donation space at the Sevon Podcast. Taylor Self versus the World, uh, 1999. Thank you. You are watching Taylor Self versus the World. This is the pre-show with Fee Sagafi and Lindsay Lane. Uh, we wouldn't have even had a women's event because of the sexist nature of this podcast, but Dallin Pepper brought Fee Sagafi in his luggage, and then J.R. Howell offered up, served up Lindsay Lane, so here you go, taking over. You can't stop the women, even when you try. All right, right now, it's going to be a fight for Lindsay to finish. Mm -hmm. Like uh, She's going to be right on the cut line That's of finishing. Fee Sagafi finishing it up right here, starting her 50 burpee box jump overs. We have our second listener who is at 30,000 feet. Chris Allgood, $1.99. The Wi-Fi is holding up on the Airbus I'm on. You're safe. You'll be getting home today to your kids, Chris. So Fee started the, the last 50 box jump overs at 12.50. You can go. You cannot go to CA Peptides website anymore and get the peptides. The website has been down. Unfortunately, I did not know that. I did not know that, but... You can get 10% off using code word Sevon or Hiller and also get the free barriostatic water. Just email them at contact at capeptides.com. Contact at capeptides.com. I see John Young writing that down right now. Although he wouldn't use peptides because he has aspirations to go to the games, but maybe for a friend. I, uh, I don't think Lindsay's going to finish. A new prediction. Lindsay Lane will be time capped, says John Young. 1645 that's, that's is a prediction a no from 1645 from the senior analyst in the CrossFit space and the barbell spin for Fee Sagafi. Right now, Fee is doing 4.3 seconds per rep. How moment. many reps has she in, Will? It's a great question. <laughs> One that I would love to know the answer to, and I will shortly. Uh, I love it. Can you take? Yeah, thank you, Sevan. As soon as Will lets me know this, I'll. 20 I'll reps. Will. Okay. She's 20 reps in. Zachary Knipple, another nine ninety nine for the ladies. Carla, repping five dollars. Thank you. You're on pace for sixteen thirty right now. Sixteen thirty. Jeffrey Birchfield, a staple here at the Seven Podcast, watching Taylor Self versus the World quarterfinals. Shelly Young for the ladies, five dollars. Al Thomas, thank you. Very generous. Thank you. All right, I'll be interested to see when or if. She's able to put a sprint on. I mean, this is, I mean, she's, this pace is pretty insane as is. Uh, Colton Mertens and Taylor Self both uh, have been in the house for all the women's workouts. Taylor let us know that he gleans a lot of knowledge from watching them go, which allows him to alter his strategy for the workout. Where's she at, she's Will? She's picking it up. She's at 3.75 per rep. No, well, how many reps? That's a, also another great question, <laughs> as it was Basic. last time. Fisa Goffey looked up at the clock. She must be getting close. Matt Torres in the background yelling at her. Great camera angle. She's shooting for sub-16 because she was on pace for 16.30 before she picked it up. Manny Marie, 1999. Ken Walters, $2. 39 reps. This is her 40th rep. Hey, she is moving. Hey, Let's get that off. countdown going. Danieli, awesome work, ladies. 16.10 maybe. Chris Beasterfield giving up a little bit of his weed money. Understood. Very, very dedicated to the cause. Ponya Wells, 499. Kevin Doyle. Let's go, girls. We got Pedro on for you, Kevin. She's dropped her reps down to the three and a half seconds. 45 seconds away 10. from the prediction that John Young and uh, 47. 48. Two more. 
49. Let's see a wide shot, please. 15. Done. 16, 15. 16, 15. Oh, Woo! my God. Whew. Dude, and her last round, her last round was faster than her second round. Lindsay Lane still going. Approaching the 17-minute mark. Where's Lindsay at? Do we know? Uh, you Are you able to move the position in the chats not to block the clock? Probably. Good, great. Good question. <laughs> Sarah Scott, 999 to the ladies. Lindsay is on her 10th rep. 40 reps in three minutes. It's going to be space. close for Lindsay here. Um, uh, Damian Fink, $5. Thank you. She would have to sprint really, really hard at rep. Ah, dude, I don't, I don't see it. Hey, can someone make it to the semifinals? And, uh, and will there be anyone who uh, doesn't make time caps and makes it to the semifinals? John Young. Before we started, we said no. And I, I mean, I'm going to stand by that. I think if you can't finish this one, then it just aerobically, you just don't have it. But, but I mean, just in terms of the leaderboard spin, can anyone not make a time cap, or will all the people we see in the semifinals finish all the workouts? At least in the big three regions, North America and Europe, I think you probably need to. Um, right. I'm not counting the regions that don't matter. Any of the other <laughs> regions, uh, I think you'll see plenty of time caps. Fee already recovered enough to cheer on Lindsay Lane. Tyler Watkins, the founder of the Heat One app, holding the close-up camera on Lindsay Where, Lane. Where's she at, Will? Where's she at? Two-minute mark. She's at like 18, I believe, for reference. She's holding like a six-second pace, a little over six seconds compared uh, to She'd have to put a sprint a on. Max. Oh. Yeah, she had to put a hard sprint on right now. Rodney Jackson, second 99-99. Thank you, Rodney. Rodney P. Jackson, thank you, brother. And she's hurting. Uh, Kevin M., she passed my score two minutes ago. Thomas Payne, you can't stop the women even if you try. Tommy Payne. Fair enough. Uh, Tracy Hefner for moving the comments to anywhere but where the time clock is. Also, thanks for this. Super awesome. If you guys pay $2,000, it unlocks a feature for us to move the comments to the side of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. That's our chief marketing officer. Our chief of financial officer, Will Brandstead, are talking. All right. Where's she at now, Will? Captain Rogers, dollar ninety nine. One minute left. Will, where's she at, baby? I'll take off my headphones. I'll just go stand over there. I'll no, you don't you have to know. do that. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna sit down. Has anybody <laughs> noticed uh, Tyler's blue shoes over there? Dude, they, those are nice. They are bright. Are those, are those rad twelves? Oh, she's at forty four. Oh wow. wow! What? Wow! So I was wrong. The first update was incorrect. <laughs> Misinformation. <laughs> forty five. Much like our government. <laughs> Go, Lindsay. Is that 46? Yeah. 47. Lindsay Lane going for it. Is this 49 or 50? That should be 49. 49. That was 9. 49. Lindsay Lane with a 19. Wait. Come on, Will. With a 19. Will, to... <laughs> you're, you're killing me, Will. <laughs> Lindsay Lane with a 1950. Lindsay Lane, right. is she going to finish? We won't know. No. I think I was right the first time. <laughs> Tyler Watkins told me a different number. Oh, he said, Tyler. 43, Will, 43. <laughs> Shut up, Tyler. Will. But it did make the experience exciting. That's the point. <laughs> I think I was right the first time. <laughs> Women that CrossFit are beautiful. Uh, let's go, ladies. Uh, Erica Estrada. Uh, Awesome job, ladies. Thank you, Seven on the team, for providing us great coverage. Our pleasure, man. Our pleasure. This is great. Right uh, incredible uh, raising of the loot, you guys. Lindsay's going to be blown away by your guys' generosity. He's going to be blown away. Also, I have not told anyone this yet, but I spoke to uh, Claire over at Born Primitive yesterday, and she is also going to give a $300 Born Primitive gift card to each of the ladies and we, from uh, Corey Pueblo, a listener of the Seven Podcast, is going to give one of you guys a $500 gift card very, very shortly. 40% um, off on all Paper Street Coffee right now. 
if but only while the show is live so make sure you run over there and check out paper street coffee also also uh don't forget to email uh ca peptides if you want the peptides uh, i can't thank born primitive enough uh for helping us get all the athletes here and put on this fantastic show for you guys the relationship between man and iron is the ultimate metaphor for life The iron doesn't care how busy you are or how much sleep you've got. It offers no refuge to your excuses or your self-pity. You only get what you earn. 315 is always 315. Just like life's burdens, some days the weight is going to feel heavier than others. But you still have to show up. You still have to put in the work. Because anything truly worthwhile in life requires hard work and sacrifice. No shortcuts. No handouts. No entitlements. People can make excuses all day long about why they aren't successful. But let's speak a hard truth. At the end of the day, the only one stopping you is you. So what's it gonna be? Born primitive. Made for the modern savage. The best part of the show is about to start. As my sister called and told me, the best part of the show isn't even the workouts. It's the post-workout interviews. We are going to have Fisa Gaffi and Lindsay Lane here very shortly. We will let Lindsay Lane know that she also gets $1,000. She's going to be very thankful to you guys. You can go to Savage20 to get $20 off any order at the Born Primitive store right now. Also, very shortly, we'll be giving away $500 gift card. To one of you guys, courtesy of the Seven Podcast listener, Corey Pueblo, from the Proven Business Plan. Uh, they will are clearing the floor a little bit. Uh, we will have a wider shot here in 45 minutes at 9:45 when you will see the men go and Taylor Self versus the world. It is a three-way tie between Dallin Pepper, Jason Hopper, and Taylor Self. Colton Mertens will also be going. He will be able to throw a wrench in the system for second place if he's able to win this, like a lot of people are predicting. John George, thank you for the ten dollars. Uh, Justin, thank you for the two dollars. Amanda Smith, thank you for the nineteen ninety nine. Well done, ladies. Uh, Michael Brewer, uh, five ninety nine of uh, some foreign uh, c- currency. Uh, will, are we going to be able to pull the ladies over for an interview, Mr. Brandstetter? Mr. Brandsetter. Uh, M1, saying what everyone thinks. Where would CrossFit be without Sevon and this kind of coverage and competition? Who is this random dude? Uh, these are uh, just the people who pay the $282 a month to work out at CrossFit Crash, the most expensive gym in the CrossFit space. By the by the way, I don't think, I don't think that's the case, but... Oh. but by the way, we need to give the head photographer at Crash a shout out. I believe we said his name wrong. Rick uh, Jones. But Rick Jones. What did we call Rick, him? I, somebody said Chris Jones, and people have said it was me, and I don't remember doing that at all. So hey, I he's just, lucky he's got his last name in there. I Rick Jones, the Chris Jones, saying, Dick Jones. Rick Jones does amazing work for CrossFit Crash. Uh, you should go check out his stuff. He does all of their videography. Uh. Manny C. Serrano, thank you for making uh, uh, quarterfinals uh, great again. Uh, the uh, We showed this on the pre-show. I'll show it to you now while we wait again. This is uh, uh, Patrick Rios. The incredible Patrick Rios put this uh, next clip together. This is a highlight reel of the uh, a highlight reel you're about to see of uh, Colton Merton's uh, uh, post-fight press conferences uh, connected together. Uh, Will, are we going to get the girls together for an interview? Okay, while we wait for Will, let's uh, check this out. Uh, Colton, were you watching Dallin? 
Yeah, split jerks are for pussies down. I don't know why. I'm sure that most of the people here are from Brute, I guess they thought they needed to bring 20 people to here on down and wipe his butt. Um, of, of you, who is the best out of you for it, Toes to Bar? <laughs> Come on, bro. I, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to fail. I don't have, you know, baby legs like down and have to resort to split jerks. I don't think I make that desk. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not gonna swear. A down. Of workout one gets to go when he wants to go. That's me, dummy. I All think. Right. The... And then, what do you guys do for the next two hours? Does anyone? Jason do and Down are gonna Dude. take a bubble bath together. We heard that um, when you showed up to town, uh, Jason gave you a call and invited you over to come to the gym to do a sauna together. Is that true? Dude, that I'm is. not getting a sauna, sauna with this dude. Hey, there's a secret <laughs> event. It's a wrestling match. It's happening in about three minutes. <laughs> 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 Jason, I don't mean to be. A, a I don't mean dude, to. You want to wrestle? Think... You want to wrestle right now? Jason, yeah, stop. He has a history of wrestling. I understand he has technique, but there are weight classes in wrestling. Buddy, I tell you, we can find out. Dude, <laughs> you're not even in my weight class. You're a little Bambi. Okay, let's turn that camera around. <laughs> oh my God! What you say? Say it again. Oh! What you say? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, Dallin, uh, Dallin, the guy that weighs 30 pounds less than you to beat you in a barbell workout. Oh, oh. Dallin, this is just uncomfortable. Hug, I'm picking you up no, and I'm dropping you on your wasted, head. Wasted energy, wasted thoughts. I don't do hugs. <laughs> I feel like, we've been, I feel like, I feel like we've been, <laughs> we've been, if we hug, I'm going to pick you up and drop you. Then what is your love, love language? <laughs> I think it was more metabolic than anything. <laughs> you don't know and, what metabolic and, means, Jason. Andrew, when you're was... able to uh, not worry about any of that, like do you have someone filming your stuff for you and you don't have to worry about that at all? Or are you stressed out about that too? Yeah, my wife and the brute entourage that came to wipe my ass uh, just takes care of it all. No, I just grabbed someone walking by and asked them if they want to take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> so far. Uh, Jason, how about you? Your submission, does that stress you out at all? My submission? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my God. And it's been nothing but fun ever since. Uh, Will, do, are we going to have the ladies up here soon? It looks like it. Camera's been turned around. I see a couple chairs. Aaron Fraser, uh, 999. Uh, thanks, JR, for hosting Taylor versus the world and keeping the boys in line. Yeah, fair enough. JR is amazing. Set all this up, put uh, stress on his gym. We'll see 499. Awesome series. Hey, um, uh, John, are you surprised um, that Fee had that uh, kick at the end there? Uh, no, I'm not. I wasn't. I ex- expected that from her. I, I was surprised that it was negative splits, <clears throat> though. I thought. We saw her doing the wall balls and taking much longer breaks than even in round two with the hands on the wall. Like she looked much tired, much more tired. Um, I was surprised that she kept the same burpee pace for essentially the first 30 that she had done the whole entire time and then kicked it. I would have thought like she would slow just a little bit like we saw with Lindsay, but then had a kick at the end. Um, like she did, but no, she kept the same burpee pace the entire time. And that's what, that's what you'll have to do to have an elite score. Like 16, 15 is nuts. That's honestly, I think, Brian, I don't know about you. That's the fastest score that I have heard on this. Yeah. I've not heard anything faster. Uh, uh, Brian, uh, will she beat some of the men? Yes. She'll beat Hopper for sure. And uh, Brian, uh, so when you think of times now moving forward, is that something that you that probably um, people need to think about? Like, okay, whatever you think their time is going to be, take off ten seconds or twenty seconds because you know everyone's going to try to kick it in at the end. Uh, you're talking about on, on these three guys later this morning. Yeah, or just in general, is that something that we forget about when we guess their times, especially on a workout like this, where like like burpee workouts are like okay, people are saving something in the tank and going full blast at the end there. Uh, I mean, I think it's. They, they continue to overperform and, and do better than what you know, our expectations are. Fee Sagafi. Uh, we're done. <laughs> What's up, girl? How you doing? Okay. Uh, we are post Wobble for Peace happiness. My legs burn. Hey, Fee, okay. um, I think the wrong mic has been chosen. Will you ask Will to choose the correct mic? Uh, we'll get that fixed here in a second. See what happens when Sousa leaves? Why why are you holding the mic so hard, Fee? Thomas Graves, Fee is beautiful. Judy Reed, beautiful Fee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Look, so- was she- is what I 
it's what happens. I mean, you do a workout. How uh, Fee, hold on one second, Fee. Uh, we, we're still having an audio issue. Something's wrong are with you, that mic. Be good. Or, or uh, No, we can hear Turn you. Good. Maybe you've chosen the wrong mic on the... Uh... No, someone added Caleb's the laptop that she can see you guys on. We, we can hear her. Oh, it's just oh, I low, see. Un, a low un, voice. Oh, can we unmute that mic, Caleb? The, the, on the camera that we can't see? Let me see if I can do it like this. Nope. We don't want that camera. We don't want it on. Okay. I, can you, but I you can hear me? We can hear yeah. you great. Okay. We can, for some reason, we can't unmute that camera. Maybe you can unmute it from your computer, uh, Will. Hello? Okay. Can you guys oh, hear me perfect. Now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Fee, did Colton hug you? He did. Oh, shit. We just heard he him say he doesn't, he doesn't hug do people. hugs. He, uh, did he say that? Yeah, yeah. I feel this, this is actually really bad on me. I feel like in the world that we live in right now, like I should start asking permission for hugs. If I could hug someone because like I see someone and I'm like, hello, and I just give him a hug and it's just like, maybe I'm coming in too hot, but no, I just no, give no. Colton, I just give Colton, I just give you hugs and he just takes it. Yeah, he's yeah. not paying attention. He's rolling up. He's focused. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think anybody would reject a hug from you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Adrian you. Castillo, uh, uh, looking like uh, the you, UFC Adrian. fighter uh, Robert Whitaker, who wouldn't hug? <laughs> hey, come on. Hey, Fee. Um, we were predicting a sixteen forty-five for you. Uh, you were on pace Ooh. to make us all right, and then <laughs> I said, I said sixteen fifteen. And <gasps> did I get did I get that? Did I get sixteen fifteen or sixteen? Yeah, that's what we got. Sixteen fifteen. And Dang. hey, you actually. You had negative splits, so you're. Um, I did on round two and three. You were four fifty seven on round one, five forty on round two, and then five thirty eight on round three. Okay. Wow. Well, you guys. Well, that makes me feel better because I felt like I was like fast, not fast, not <laughs> less fast, less fast. Well, <laughs> on the wall balls, you were, but just your more rest. Were the same pace the whole time, okay, and then you had that kick at the end. Oh, thank you. I actually tripped up on the box twice where like I tripped up and like I still stepped down and I had this moment of like panic. And then my judge was like, you're good. Reagan was like, you're good. And um, I just stepped the whole time. And then towards the end, you know, you kind of want to have that last little like fast pull of the feet up and then over. And I couldn't even do that because my legs were like shaking. They were shaking on the wall balls. They were shaking the whole time after round one. So we made it through. We didn't eat the floor. Is, is 16, <laughs> feet, feet, um, the fastest time you've heard? Uh, no, that's not the fastest time. I've actually, uh, I finished the workout and I was proud, but like in my head, my coach and I, we wanted, I wanted a sub 16. Like I wanted like a 1530, 1540. Like I, I knew I, it's not impossible, obviously. Um, and I just wanted to do it, but I'll take that just because I was in a lot of pain. And so that's just kind of where we're at today. Do you think you came out too hot then? Because you came out at a 15, a sub 15 minute pace. Yeah. Uh, did I come out too hot? I don't, potentially. I mean, if I slowed down, but then it's like, it's one of those workouts where you can't, uh, you just gotta go. It's not like the, you know, clean and jerk workout in the first event where you have to be a little bit more um, strategic in your breaks because you just, you just don't have it and you can't, you don't have time to fail a rep. Versus here, it's burpees and wall balls. It's body weight. It's kind of my wheelhouse. If I, you know, the wheelhouse movements that I do have in me, I always just want to push it to the end. Like, until the wheels come off, this is the workout that I'm going to do that. So if I'm going to start fast and maybe not end too fast, I'm fine with that. Because I know my slow is probably still okay. <laughs> Does uh, that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the coverage. You're talking. making me late to my barrel races, but it's worth it. The ladies have been amazing. A uh, fee you won a thousand dollars from the uh, Glinton podcast. You also Born Thank Primitive has decided to throw in a three hundred dollar gift certificate uh, to the oh. Born Primitive website, so you also get that. Uh, Lindsay Thank Lane doesn't so know much. this, but when she comes, she's going to find out that the chat also raised a thousand dollars to give oh, her, and she also gets a three hundred dollar Born Primitive. So oh, uh, she's so deserving of that. Oh, yeah, so good. Thank it, you guys. Wow. Yeah, th I'm thank you. Emotional. Thank, <laughs> perfect. Thank you for putting on a great show. Hey, so when did you decide to kick it in? Um, mm -hmm. On those last fifty uh, burpee box overs, or, or when did did Matt Torres say thirty left? Now's the time. Or what number were you at? And what did Matt tell you? Or was it your decision? Yeah. 
I think I was coming off the wall balls. I, I actually wanted to go to tens um, on the last, on the third round, because my legs were just hurting. So they, they were screaming and they were like, come on tens. And I kept that. And then in my head going into the 50, I was like, okay, your first 20, 25, your first half, it's gonna be consistent. Like you're not gonna try to cook it right now. Um, because you need that kick at the end. And it's that's a round that if you do push just a little bit too early, you hit those last little turbo buttons and you can't have that kick at the end, that's where you could really screw it up or stop. <laughs> like some people literally stop on their bird because they're hurting so bad. Um, and then it took me at 25 to 30, that's like every 10 in my head was like, okay, you got another gear. Every 10's another gear. Every 10's another gear. And by the last 10 to 15, I'm like, okay, you're in your last gear. Like you better die blackout you could blackout now <laughs> uh, uh uh levi timko uh Le fee the world needs more unsolicited hugs be generous with them oh thank uh, you love i agree uh, for the ladies uh thank you tina hey um what's the warm-up for that so for that the warm-up yeah it's such an aerobic obviously such a long aerobic piece that i started my actually i started my warm-up with just some breathing and that's kind of something that i've been doing just almost like the have you guys heard of the box breathing method um you know you inhale for four seconds pause for four seconds exhale and then you're kind of like drawing a box um it, you know in your head and i kind of laid down and just closed my eyes and just breathe um and just that's just kind of getting the system you know to slow down and you're ready and you know this is a workout where you already have nerves and your butterflies and you know you're gonna hurt so just kind of bringing your cns down or your yeah your cns down um, and then I got on the bike, bike and ski. You kind of start. Oh, battery's running low. I don't know if that uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> battery's running low. Um, yeah. And then like I get on the machines. Um, nothing crazy. I just kind of zone two, like steady heart rate. And then like every minute, I kind of start to speed up, get my heart rate up, hop on a ski, get my shoulders and arms ready. And then, then I kind of just hit some plyos to kind of get the the type two fibers move in. I know my legs are gonna be hurting and they're gonna be jumping and obviously with the burpees, plyometric movement. So it's kind of like a, a what is it? A build up, a slow build up. You don't wanna, you wanna take your time on this one. And at the very end, you're starting to hit some wall balls and burpees. Are you sweating when you start the workout? Yeah, I'm sweating. I feel like um, I really enjoy uh, sweating right before, uh, everyone makes fun of me. They say like, be. He loves a good sweat slash, and I do. Um, I feel like a wrestler. Like, I got to, like, get my sweat on. Like, I got to get my sweat on. I, I, like, I will wear a sweatshirt in 90-degree weather just to, like, get sweaty and warm. Maybe it's not the best thing, but, you know. And then I, and then I do my thing. Get cold uh, e and stay warm. ESC Sounds, you've been amazing, Fee. You're a legend. Yes, Harry. Love you, Harry. Love ESC. This is not ESC, but if I had a choice, I'd be wearing my ESCs right now. Uh, well said. If you were, um, uh, are, are you happy with your performances with the semifinals? Will you redo any of these? Yeah. And with the I'm, quarterfinals, excuse me. I'm really proud. I'm proud. Not be, like, I actually finished this event, and Matt and I, we kind of just turned to each other. And I don't get this a lot from Matt, which says a lot, at least in training. Um, he's like, very, very well done good execution and i think it, that's what we were uh, really shooting for we weren't shooting for the fastest times we sure we weren't shooting to like win anything like the goal wasn't to win if that sounds weird but um the goal was just to like show the training off let's see where we're at and execute and this is also very good opportunities to work on execution because come semifinals, come the games a lot of times it isn't the fitness that holds you back it's truly the execution at that point at that point your fitness is what it is and we got a lot of it come semis and games so when it comes to opportunities like this where we could practice execution um, and just see how it plays out uh, and the fact that we were four for four, we want to say today, um, other than like a little brain fart in the gymnastics piece, uh, a little adversity, but it was good overall. Are, 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 what about coming to a new gym? Uh, how, how far are you from home? We're about six hours, a six hour drive. Yeah, six hours. We, we drove from Jacksonville, Florida. That's where we're at. And Dallin and I and the Brood HQ team, we're now in at CrossFit Tailwinds owned by Christina Migliari and the whole team over there, the affiliate, like, you, Savon, you know how I love affiliates. I, like, shout them out. They're my home. They're my roots. 
anytime I could just train and be around good people, good community, like that just makes training so fun because training is so hard. And when you got a team of people behind you, like it makes you want to do well for them, not even like for yourself. Um, and, and what about what about being in a new gym, new environment, uh, new d- different different space, and not the gear normally of your hands on? Did that play a role at all, or did that make you anxious, or did you hear any any stories popping up in your head? Yeah, you know what? I wasn't I wasn't phased at all. I when you're not on your own bars, right, or your own little corners or your own ropes, you know. The, I know you know Jr's was very uh, worried with the rope situation. You guys couldn't see it, but where we were climbing, we weren't climbing to like, we were climbing to our 15 feet, but our 15 foot target was like tape on a beam underneath like the the roof and we had to like go around this beam and tap the steel tape like it was little things like that where you're like okay i'm not used to this but also when is competing ever perfect when is the floor ever perfect just the way that you like it so if anything it's always good opportunities to train for the unknown and train for you know things that aren't the way that you want them to be so hey do you do you think Lindsay lane's going to come into the uh interview or do you think is she still down for the count i hope so let me ask um i want her to uh uh, jason jason where's Lindsay? Lindsay? uh p p bonit uh dollar 99 thank you okay uh met fee's mom and sister at semifinals and they are all fun sized oh (laughs) yeah we're all just about because we're all mexican (laughs) <laughs> no, is that bad to say? No, I could say because I'm Mexican. Uh, uh, you can you can you can comment about anyone's race or ethnicity on this. Uh, no, uh, this is a safe space. This is a safe space on no, podcast. I'm five one, and I've been five one since like the seventh grade. <laughs> I uh, have a niece. Her name's Tenley Ro- or Tenley Ferrara, right? And um, she's my husband's niece on his side of the family, and she's thirteen, and we are the same size. <laughs> oh, already. Go ahead, twenty nine, and she's thirteen. Uh, Fee, how does doing this live in a different gym competing against somebody that you don't know versus your prior years doing quarterfinals kind of in your in your gym you know in a different safe environment i guess this is i'll take this every time if it means i'm not doing these alone truly Mm. i Mm. i know not everyone can say that some people truly enjoy doing things alone more so because it, you avoid trying to play someone else's game and someone else's strategy, and maybe that just helps you stay in your lane. But for me, I'm such a game. I, I want to believe I'm a game time athlete. And when it comes to training, I overthink. When it comes to training, I'm not. maybe I'm not hitting as fast paces as I would in competition. And that's because when I'm competing, my brain is just off. Like, I'm go time. I'm locked in and i have almost no time to t- uh, think too much so when it comes to competition experiences even like this um i thrive the pressure like pressure is a privilege and i love that for me. hey do you want to tell jr howell what you said told us about finding hy- used hypodermic needles in his bathrooms there at crossfit <laughs> crash <laughs> go Get ahead tell here. him go don't feel bad for you go ahead tell Get him no, no. Those are mine from this morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Lindsay Lane, you look uh, much more beautiful in the wide shot we had you. The red sports bra was beautiful. You're very handsome husband. Um, you don't present as nicely uh, close up, but still nice to have you. I'm sorry for being so harsh on your looks. Uh, Lindsay, we have $1,000 for you, and we have a $300 gift certificate from Born Primitive that they decided to throw in last night. Um, what was it like, Lindsay, competing against the great Fee Sagafi? So is that what you have to do? You have to get swept to get more money than you thought you were going to get? <laughs> yeah. Is that <laughs> crazy? These ding-dongs in the no, chat a, gave her a, a G. Geez. A you guys G. are great. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, Lindsay actually had family obligation at noon that she had to get out of here for. I spoke to her, and she was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about them wanting to talk to me after I didn't finish she's not a pro like fee she's not a pro <laughs> like not. fee <laughs> no but she wants to be and we all uh, want it so yeah, bad for her she's uh she's learned a lot this weekend for sure um i think a lot of people close to her um want her to do so well and mm-hmm. she's such a cool person and a lot like fee just doesn't have like a negative or a mean bone in her body and competing in her own house in October against Lydia Fish and, you know, Emma Harvang and Chloe Wilson and all these people and winning, 
was not something she, I don't necessarily think, was ready for. And so when when it happened, she was almost just like, that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't I don't know that I'm there yet. I'm just I'm just good at pegboard and parallel handstand pushups, right? <laughs> and so I think a lot of the pressure kind of started there at Crash, building up to here. And what an opportunity for her to go against Fee, a true professional. And I think she found out early on, hey, like the way you do one thing is the way you do everything, the way that you warm up the way that you take the camera seriously, the way that you cool down. And I mean, this has been a, a priceless experience for her. Was it emotional for her, JR? I'm sensing that afterwards it was emotional for her. Did, did she cry? Extremely, or you... yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah, she's embarrassed for sure. Oh, about um, because she lost a fee? Uh, I think, I think, you know, it's cliche, but a lot of people will tell you that comparison is the thief of joy. And if you're doing it by yourself and you're always the fittest in the gym, and you submit scores and you feel good about it and you do the open and you're top 100 in the world and then you get you get four workouts right and two of them are dependent on grip fatigue and if grip fatigue's a weakness you just got to deal with it and if one thing you're not great at is high volume burpees you got to deal with it that's just that's just the game that you play so i think um, yes so i think she's um She's definitely ready to climb on the leaderboard. I think the first two workouts, uh, she couldn't have gotten harder ones for her skill set. But I told her, and, and she'll redo the workout three, the gymnastics workout, and go probably a minute or two faster. And then she'll, she'll climb on Monday night. And how high she climbs is just, we'll see. On, on behalf of everyone who's listening, um, uh, they knew when they were donating the money that it was all going to Lindsay Lane. And so they, they, they wanted to get her a thousand bucks and they got her a thousand bucks. And uh, I, don't, I didn't see one negative comment about her. That being said, good on her for fucking being embarrassed. That sounds like a championship heart. She should put a shitload of pressure on herself. That's only going to make her better. I bet you all the top athletes in the world put some insane pressure on them. That's why they get as good as they do. It's not an easy road to hoe. But on behalf of all of us here, uh, she, she even next to the great Fee Sagafi, 32nd fittest woman in the world, uh, just an outstanding athlete, in, like you said, uh, pre-show, during the game, and post-show. Uh, Lindsay did nothing to embarrass herself. But but also, on the other hand, it kind of excites me to hear that because it lets us know that, man, she she wants to up her game. So congratulations oh, to her. Yeah. Please give her my uh, – just give her my phone number, um, JR, and I'll make sure she gets the gift, cer gift certificate and the $1,000. Now that I have yeah, both of you we'll here – go ahead, John. Go ahead, John. JR, uh, different, different level, but – do you think she's going through something similar that Hopper went through after he won semifinals? Mm, interesting. Good because question. No, because no. Crucible's like big, dude. Crucible's big, man. You Really, you don't think like she... You, no? Because Hopper no. wasn't... I don't think Hopper was ready for the games his rookie year. Mentally. See, the difference see, the difference in circumstances there is that Jason had qualified for Atlas games that year, which... So people would have seen him at a sanctional. When they all got canceled and no one was doing anything, this competition here was just like, hey, let's get all these dudes in the Southeast that don't have anything to do or anywhere to compete, and let's bring them here and have them compete. And like I told you guys when Jake Berman was on, I had a close connection with him, and he had just competed in Myrtle Beach against Jason, Josh Miller, um, Taylor Self. They all did a competition within two months before I said, hey, man, help me recruit all these, like, people that want something to do to compete. So when he came, a lot of those guys knew who Jason was. But then the whole world found out who he was after he won Crucible and then went to Mac and won. So I think it's a completely different set of circumstances with him. Um, John kind of summed up what I told a lot of people that were watching the workout. They kind of looked at me and they were like, uh... Is Lindsay okay? And I was like, yeah, there's just levels to this stuff. Like, I mean, and I would tell her that plainly. Like, there's, there are professionals, and there are people that are trying to get there. And that's kind of what you saw here all weekend. I mean, Fee was great. I'll, I'll continue to be a fan. I'll, I'll not hold it against her anymore that she decided not to come to Crucible because I did try to recruit her <laughs> last year. I don't, I don't know if she remembers. I, do, I, had, I, I went through my messages because I tagged crash like a couple of days ago I was doing some story and I was like oh my god oh my god I was invited <laughs> yeah years. yeah I, try, I try to get I, mean, I actually I try to get her and 
she I really was. I wanted to come. Yeah, I tried to get her and yeah, Emma because I wanted Crucible to be like Emma's return after she, she was injured. Yeah. So I reached out to Matt and uh, I reached out to some people that were kind of connected to Brute. And I was like, you know, I want to get Fee. I, I wonder if Fee's going to try to make Rogue, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then, you know, every year that Crucible has gotten bigger and bigger, I think now looking back on it, Fee probably would have been like, oh, yeah, that was a pretty legit competition. So I would love to have her here in October for sure. Fee, yeah, you would love JR's like programming. Oh, I'm looking. I literally, he has <laughs> banners of events just like around his gym. And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so smart. That's like so cool. Pegboard climbs and overhead squats. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, um, uh, we, yeah, real quick, time. we are 20 minutes away from Taylor Self versus the world. $5,000 grand prize brought to you by CA Peptides. Taylor Self versus the world, the Born Primitive CrossFit quarterfinals. Fee. <laughs> Don't disappoint me, Fee. Yes. Don't be biased, girl. <laughs> okay. Don't be biased. The Lord is watching. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> the Lord is watching, P. What are you going to say right now? Dallin Pepper. Oh. Jason Hopper. Colton Mertens. And the fucking legend himself. The event is named after him. Taylor Self versus the world from Sentinel Training. Who do you got to win this? Jesus. Girl. Girl. You could not be biased. You could not be biased. Let me tell you. I expected more from you, Fee. Let me tell you. I don't know any of them. I know how Dallin got me on a burpee workout by like two seconds. Like, uh oh. Uh -oh. I know right. Dallin. That's right. Isn't that like. Uh huh. Come on. Listen, I'm um, the only one picking Dallin amazing. up here, Fee. The only yes. one. <laughs> exactly. And because I've done bur many burpee workouts with Dallin. Uh, and wall balls, and I see him hurt. I know he could hurt, and this is just a hurting workout. Like, the person that uh, wins this is not that they're the fittest. It's they just want to hurt the most. That's well, really that what makes, this one is, especially just, for how that funny is Taylor. Taylor's the, I think Taylor's the best <laughs> You should just. <laughs> well, I'm what does excited JR think? to watch this go down. Uh, um, do, you, do you have any advice? Do you have any advice for him, for Dallin? Is there anything you'll say to him? Um, actually, I did. I was actually chatting with him right after he was watching, cheering. And um, the one thing that I said was, I guess I said a couple of things, but I said, stick to your, like, just stick to your strategy. This isn't something that you just deviate from strategy because it is important when it comes to your breaks on the wall balls, um, how you pace out the burpees. If you do come out too hot, I said, just consistent and steady. Know that your legs are going to blow up and that's okay. And I think that's what I said. Like, expect certain things to happen and just know that that's okay because you can hurt through that pain, and that's where the training kicks in. And then the last thing that I said was when you start to hurt, tell yourself good. Like, you want this to hurt. Mm. And the more you could hurt, that means the more you want to stand on top of that podium. So that's all you got to do. We had a mic on the floor, and we picked up some other. We heard. We thought we heard you say, Dallin, don't be a bitch. Win this. Is that? Did, yes. did we hear that? That, you also, also said that. I said okay. that in uh, Spanish because uh, in Espanol. All right, yeah. all right, perfect. Uh, Jr. <laughs> uh, overall thoughts uh, going into this. Uh, did you expect it to be a three-way tie? I mean, I told anyone that asked me that it was going to be really close. Like, I did it very politically when we did the preview show, and I picked a different winner for every workout. And I'm currently three for three. I did it so that I would, could just pick each one of them to win a workout and lose a workout as far as get fourth and get first. But that's what's happened. And I tried to tell everybody, no person's going to win four. None of them are going to win three. And I said, I'd be surprised if any of them even won two. And that's exactly what's happened. So, I mean... Who's I the only be, one who hasn't won a workout? Who's the only one left? Colton. So Colton, and, and he's my pick to win this one. Now, I don't know. Winning overall is a completely different question. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'll stick to that. And I, I would think it would be so cool if with four workouts you had four different winners. Hey, uh, John, don't answer this question now. But if Colton wins this workout, tonight at 6 p.m. we'll be doing a CrossFit Games quarterfinal super show. And we need to talk about if Colton does win this, what does that say about the programming that you have four really distinct athletes um, and each of them taking a workout and what that says about the programming. All right, guys, Fisagafi.
Thank you. Congratulations. Um, feel, uh, you t text me. Um, I don't know. In a few hours when all the shows are over, text me, send me your Venmo. I'll make sure you get the, uh, the money. Send me your email. I'll make sure you get the born primitive, uh, $300 gift certificate. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for being so vulnerable. Thank you for trusting us to present you well to the world. Thank you for pr sh uh, doing so much for the CrossFit community and presenting yourself as an absolute class act and a, uh, just a kind of a, a pillar of humanity. Uh, thank you. You're, you're a you. wonderful say, human being. Can yes. Say, say whatever you oh, want. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for that. Uh, I know Sarah Cox, Sarah, there's a, yep. Sarah, Sarah Cox, Cox. Yes. She's been supporting. She do I think she, I believe she donated or did, uh, something extremely special. Uh, she might even be listening. Um, Thank you so much for the support. And also just you guys, thank you so much for supporting us and the brands and the sponsors that pitched in. Like all that support is so helpful. And we, none of us, like I'll speak for Lindsay on this. We don't take it for granted. This helps us continue to do what we do. And I do this for free every day. And the fact that I get to do this as my career and I get support along the way, like it's so special. So thank you. Thank you. Woo. Free to coffee, getting emotional. Yeah. Amanda Smith, <laughs> you are the winner of the $500 born primitive $500 born primitive gift certificate that uh, bought purchased by Corey Pueblo, Corey Pueblo of the proven business plan, $500 to you. You have to figure out how to get a hold of me. Good fucking luck. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Amanda, you can DM anyone in the group and be like, hey, I'm trying to bug Sevon. Send me your send the phone number to anyone in the group. Send it to Matt Souza. Send it to Caleb. Send it to the Real Sevon Podcast. Send it to mine. Send it, uh, attach your phone number to it, and then I'll text you back right away. Um, if you don't hear from us, just keep bugging us. It might take a few days. We are a complete shit show. <laughs> JR, uh, thanks for hosting all of this. Um, we do have one more gift, cert gift certificate to give away. We'll give it on the final show. It's from Coffee Pods and Wads. Uh, Pedro White's giving a $200 gift certificate to Born Primitive. Any final words, uh, Mr. Howell? No, I mean, I I had heard a lot of great things about B as a person. Mm. They've all been validated. So I just really appreciate her. And uh, I've been around a, a lot of athletes now. Um, I've been blessed to be able to be around a lot of athletes for the past four or five years, both here at Crash and then at other places. And I can say that I'm I'm definitely a fan of hers now. Aww. Super special Fee Sigafi. Uh, you can use that nickname. Mr. Spin, any final words before we take a 12-minute break? Nope. Excited to see what happens in 15, 30 minutes. John Young. Yeah, we, we'll start at one as close to 1 p.m. on the dot as possible. Uh, Mr. John Young. Um, I think everybody needs to give JR a big thank you for hosting for hosting this event. Um, I don't I, I don't think people understand like the length. Wait, wait, hold that, on. It's so deep you can see. Oh, sorry, it. wrong button. Sorry, wrong button. Sorry, wrong button. Sorry, sorry. I was trying. I was trying to use the cheering. Uh, I cannot follow that up. So. I, I tried to use the cheer. The, the cheer. Why was that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Okay. What is she uh, talking? Isagafi, thank you. Uh, no, Daniel thank Brandon you. had a splinter. She had a splinter. She had a splinter. She had a splinter. <laughs> All right, Fee, thank you so much. Will Brandstetter, thank you yeah. for everything. We Bye. will see you back. Bye, Fee. Uh, we will see you back um, very shortly here, guys. Uh, I think the time is uh, we'll be back in 12 minutes. And guess who will be here? The less attractive version of me from CrossFit Inferno. <laughs> I mean, that's just what everyone says. That's just what people say. I mean, not, I don't really think that. I you know uh, love you, know you guys. Thanks on. for the thousand bucks on behalf of Lindsay Lane. You guys did an amazing job. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Born Primitive. Thank you, CA Peptides. Uh, in two seconds, the deal is going to be gone at Paper Street Coffee. Uh, very, thank you, uh, Mary Monsoor, for always being a great supporter. And Toast Spacers, always being in the chat. ESC Sounds, thank you. Uh, don't forget, Heat One App, Go Wad, uh, 2500 bucks giving away. Thank you to everyone. And uh, the Grundler will be here soon. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.